Hi guys! You might have seen this one. Um, it's an awfully pest infected cyclamen that I showed you um, a while ago and it has been getting worse. You can see small bugs under each of these leaves. Oh, look at this one is clean. <laughs> um, so what we are going to do is try and rescue this beautiful plant, soon to be beautiful plant, um, since it has this wonderful leaves and even prettier flowers, which you will see soon, I hope, um, since it blooms in the winter. And... I'm hoping we can save her and yeah so stay tuned to see how we do that here's what we're gonna do so first of all we're gonna get this plant out of this pot and see what we are working with see how the roots look oh so it smells it smells like soil it is a bit root bound as you can see um and it feels really wet even though it hasn't been watered for for a while so that's a pretty clear sign that this is not a perfect soil for it and that it has been staying in that soil for a while and it has kept so much moisture in it so what we're gonna do is remove this soil first as much as we can so I'm just gonna gently press it hmm. i don't know who used uh, this soil is this i think it's not something that um that it came with oh we lost we lost leaf it and it was a good leaf that's sad we're gonna have to be really gentle I'm gonna use the scissors I'm not pushing the scissors in once I feel like that's the end of it. <laughs> if you know what I mean. If it's hitting something, you don't push in because it has like this little, let's call it, let's call it a potato <laughs> in it. It's like a rhizome. So, um, what is this? What is this? It's some kind of textile. In my defense, this plant was not mine. It's actually my mother's plant and she does not see um, that well. So she didn't even notice the small bugs below the leaves. So we are losing a lot of leaves. But I see that we have a nicely developed root system, which is always a good sign. I think we can save this plant. You see all this bunch of dead stems. We have to remove those. The plant doesn't need them. And yeah, I think we're gonna just remove those. It has a really healthy potato. 
in the soil and a really really healthy root system even though the foliage is completely destroyed you're just gonna try and push pull this out these out because they're all dead and i think they fall out very easily yeah much easier than with scissors because if i used scissors then I would be left with uh, the base of these dead stems and it would look ugly. I don't think we want an ugly plant. This one in particular has beautiful leaves and it has even prettier flowers. It has vivid pinkish, vividly pink flowers. So I'm going to put an image of a healthy plant. Just so you see how it looks, it's amazing. If you don't know, you will be shocked <laughs> of how pretty this plant is. This, all of this is completely dead. But I think we're left with some foliage and we're left with pretty root system. And I'm happy with this. I am happy with this. Once we get rid of these pests, we'll have a beautiful plant. And I'm just sad that these leaves, even though they seem healthy in a way, if we exclude the pests, they are falling out. So let me show you what we have. So you see the roots look really healthy they smell of soil they don't smell rotted so that's also a good sign even though they have been sitting in water we are left with some foliage even though it's filled with pests filled with these small bugs and we removed the dead stems so now it looks much better I'm just quickly going to go and wash this plant out. And you see this rhizome? It, gives, it looks really healthy as well. As well. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. I'm going to go wash it now. So now that I have washed it, we are left with these pretty decent roots. It looks pretty good to me. Um, keep an eye on the leaves and try to wash out as much as you can of all these small bugs and their eggs and yeah that's the most important part so i have prepared a soil since this plant uh, likes um likes a little bit of um acidic soil i used sphagnum peat moss and of course some perlite as always and I wanted to use this pretty um, pot with pinkish uh, spots pinkish yeah, kind of spots um, but I figured that this pot is large too large to it, for it but as well I don't like making it a shallower pot because I think this plant has a larger root ball than I expected. So we are going to use this pot and we are going to use this plastic pot and we're going to put it in this grayish one because yeah we like our plants to be pretty in pretty pots but they're not going to be pretty if they aren't healthy so we have to negotiate a little bit and I didn't have this one in a larger size. Yeah so what we're gonna do now is I always like to add a little orchid bark on the bottom of the pot because it improves drainage. Um, I use orchid bark, but in general, like you should use um, coconut, regular coconut bark that's not only meant for orchids. That's what they say, but I never had an issue with using an orchid bark. So do as you wish but i think this is just fine so 
just put one finger of uh, one finger depth of orchid bark if you want you don't have to and then a little bit of the soil that we prepared earlier place your plant inside place your plant inside and just Don't spill it everywhere like I'm. <laughs> and just put some soil around the plant once you have the plant placed as you like. For me, currently, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, I think it's only important that this plant is healthier and just has um, everything she needs to grow because I think it's, it's been doing really well considering the conditions. I, ha I have some new shoots, new, new leaves trying to grow but yeah I think that's pretty good now press a little bit gently on the soil just to keep the plant in place and the soil is very aerated so um, once you water it it might even settle down and be shut for um, about a third of that shallower than it currently is so I'm just gonna go and water this plant and I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like after watering. You see the soil has settled down a little bit and we are just gonna place it in this grayish pot, as I mentioned. And it might look pretty sad currently but I think we'll have a pretty plant in a few months or so, even in a few weeks. So I'll keep you updated on that. And once we have it flowering, blooming, it will be so pretty. I can already see it. <laughs> so um, the leaves are still, are still pretty wet. So I'm just gonna... Um, use this towel to collect the water from them and then we will use a mixture of neem oil, um, dish soap and water and we're gonna spray this plant with it Oh, what is this? Okay, it's working now. This is um, as well um, against pests, but I think we did remove most of them with water. So, once it's, it's sprayed, we're again just gonna Spread this a little bit. I don't know if you know, but neem oil affects not only fully grown um, bugs, but as well their eggs. So it should really help this plant out. And we'll see what we have in a few months. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, see you soon. Bye.